All right, let's dive right in. I won't waste your time. So we're going to create some curved text here. Of course, first off, we need our text. So I'm gonna grab my text tool from the toolbox and I am using the dark theme with symbolic icons for my Inkscape user interface. I have a tutorial on how to set that up, but once I have my text tool, I'm going to click on my composition on my canvas and I'm gonna turn my caps lock key on and type. Once I've done that, I'll hit control A to select all the text. And I'm just going to change this to this other font, the Fredoka one font, and I'll hit apply. So here we have our text. To put this on a curve, we're going to need to draw a curve. So let's grab the Bezier curves tool or the pen tool. And I'm going to click to create a point, click and drag to create another point with a curve. So there's our first curve. I'm actually gonna draw two other curves here just so we have multiple examples. So what I'll do is grab the select tool, grab the pen tool again. And once again, I'm going to click to create a node, click and drag for a curve node. And this last node here will automatically have a curve. I'll hit the S shortcut key to grab the select tool, the B key to grab the pen tool one more time. And this time I'll do an inverted curve, just like that. All right, so we'll hit the S key again to grab the select tool, click on the text. In my case, because I wanna put three different sets of text here on our curves, I'm gonna need three instances of this text. So I'll hit Control D twice. That'll create two duplicates of this text layer. So now we have three text layers. Then I'm going to shift click on our first path. So now I have the text and the path selected and we'll go to text, put on path. So now we have that curved text here. You can see how that looks. Let's demonstrate that again. So click on our text layer, shift click on the path, text, put on path. And one last time here, so click on the text, shift click on the path, text, put on path. All right, so here you can see our text is on our path in three different instances, but what happens if you want to make adjustments to this text, maybe you want to change the position of the text on the path, or you want to edit the path itself so you could change the curves, etc. There's a few ways to do this, so let's grab the edit paths by nodes tool. And here we have a curved path. You could see the letters, if I hold control and zoom in with my mouse wheel, are sort of bunching up right here at this curve. So maybe you wanna change that curve. You could simply click on one of these nodes and here you'll see some handles show up on this center node here. So we can actually click and drag this handle. We could stretch it out if we want this to be a deeper curve or we can flatten the curve a bit. We can also adjust the location of this. So you can see that's kind of helping there. So the text will conform to the curve if you decide to edit it after the fact. You can also come over to the first node and just push it inwards. And that is going to bring our text in a bit and help it fit better to this. Now you may also find yourself in a position where maybe you wanna keep the curve the same so you don't wanna change the curvature of it or the length of it. So what I can do is grab the text tool and let me just demonstrate by shrinking this text. So let's go with 22 for the font size here up in my tool controls bar. So now the text doesn't fit along this curve quite right, but let's say we wanna keep the size of the text the same and the curve the same. There's a few things we can do. So for one, we can change the spacing between the letters up here. So you can see when I increase the spacing, that's going to allow that to spread out like so. But let's say you don't wanna do that, so maybe you just want to center up the text as it is at the center of this curve. Let me show you what I mean. I'll change this back to zero, hit the enter key. So let's say you wanna move the text as it is to the right. You can come over here, there's an option in the tool controls bar called the horizontal kerning option. And what I can do is just increase this and you'll see that's going to move my text along the path here, along the curve and we could stop right there once we feel like this is nice and centered. So that's another way to adjust our text along the curve. Let's grab the select tool again, come over here and click on this text. So there are some other ways we can adjust this. Let's say we wanna flip this text for whatever reason. You can come up here and use these little icons, so the rotate icons, and we can rotate this 90 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Or if I wanted to flip this, I could flip this very easily. And I can also flip this so it becomes upside down. And then when I come over here and I grab my edit paths by nodes tool and I click on one of these nodes, you'll see that the text will still respond if I adjust the curvature of this path here. 
So it's still responding even though it's upside down. Of course, the use cases for this are probably pretty limited, but you guys get the point there. So let's say you have put your text along a curve and now you wanna separate the text from that curve so that it no longer responds to the curve. It essentially becomes its own independent object. What you wanna do, let's click on this middle option here, is go to path, object to path. And now if we separate this text like so, come over here, grab the edit paths by nodes tool, and let's adjust these handles. You'll see now that text is completely separated from this curve. So we can now independently adjust the curvature of this, the shape of it, and it will no longer affect the text. Of course, the downside to that is we can no longer come over here and click on this text to edit it with the text tool. And it is pretty much frozen here in this position. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.